Hi, I'm Justin from T2K and in this video we will be learning all about availability profiles in 3CX. Availability profiles are a very effective tool to enhance communications with your colleagues. They help you ensure that you're all in touch with the comings and goings of a busy office. So what exactly are availability profiles? As we look on the team page in 3CX, you can see each user has a coloured icon to the bottom right of their avatar. The primary statuses are green, available, yellow, on a call, orange, away, and red, do not disturb. There are two further statuses that can be customised to meet the needs of your business, light green and pink. By default, these are lunch break and business trip, but you may see them set up as something else. You can select a status by clicking on your avatar and then clicking the status you would like to use. You'll then see on the team page that your status has been updated to reflect the change. It can be really helpful to give a little more information to your colleagues. Perhaps you'd like to mention that you're in a meeting until 3pm or out of the office until 2pm and this is really simple to do. Click on your avatar and find the status that you would like to use. Now towards the right hand edge you'll see a pencil icon. Click on this and enter your custom status message. I'm going to set that I'm in a meeting until 11am and then I'm going to click OK. If you haven't already selected the status, go back now and select it and you'll see that your status has been updated. As you can see, availability profiles are a great way to keep your colleagues aware of your current status. However, this element is only part of the story. The real power is in how we can use profiles to route your calls differently. Let's have a look to see how it all works. We'll start by clicking on the avatar, then clicking on settings. From here, we'll select call forwarding from the drop down menu. You may find it easier at this point to stretch the window out a little like this. You'll see that the menus have now appeared down the left hand side and this makes it easier to remember where you are when you are configuring things. You should now see a column with all of your availability profile headings. Clicking on these will display the configuration options for each. We'll start by looking at the available status. This is broken down into three sections, unanswered, busy or not registered and general options. Starting with unanswered, we can define the length of time that passes before 3CX considers the call to be unanswered. The default is 20 seconds. As a rule of thumb, three seconds equates to approximately one ring on a UK phone. To set this to a different duration, just enter an appropriate number of seconds in this box. Next, we can choose the destination for our calls if unanswered for both external or internal callers. This is a very useful distinction, as if a customer calls your direct dial number and you don't answer, you have the opportunity to forward the calls to a group of people, whereas if a colleague calls, it may be more practical to send them straight to your voicemail. Clicking on the arrow will reveal your options. The key ones of note are voicemail. This will send your unanswered call to your personal voicemail. Extension number. Selecting this, I can choose another extension within the phone system to send my calls to. External number. Selecting this one, I can just enter an external number such as an answering service. System extension. Choosing this allows us to send the call to a call queue or digital receptionist. Finally, send busy. This would just send the caller back a busy tone. You have the same options again for busy or unregistered. Busy is self-explanatory. This simply means that you're on a call. Unregistered means that you do not have a device connected to 3CX. For example, your soft phone on a PC that is shut down or a desk phone that is unplugged and a mobile app without any internet connection. Essentially, if you're not connected to the phone system, this is how your calls will be handled whilst in this available status. In the general options, you'll see also ring my mobile, accept multiple calls and accept push notifications. Also ring my mobile is a bit of a legacy feature now given on how the 3CX smartphone app enables you to remain connected. But if you do have your mobile phone number stored against your profile, you can have calls ring your cellular mobile at the same time if you wish. Selecting accept multiple calls will enable call waiting on your phone. So if you're on a call and a second person calls you, you'll receive an audible and visual notification and have the ability to swap between calls if you choose to. Accept push notifications is twofold. 
Its primary function is to allow the smartphone app to ring when you receive a call or a message. However, if you're using the PWA as your soft phone, it is also needed to enable call notifications for this too. Therefore, if you have chosen PWA, it is always recommended to have this option checked. If you have a look at the other statuses, you'll see that they all have similar options. For statuses where it's assumed that you will not be taking calls, such as away or do not disturb, you'll see fewer options, as there's no need for any distinction between unanswered and busy calls. One of the great things about 3CX is that once you've learned how to do one thing, you've learned how to do several, and this is a great example. Configuring the remaining profiles will be simple and intuitive. Once you've set up each of your profiles to suit your requirements, all you have to do is click on your avatar and select the appropriate profile. And that's it, you're done. Quick and simple. That brings us to the end of this video. I hope that you found it useful. If you have, please do give it a like and check out the other videos on our channel. If you'd like to be kept informed whenever we add a new video, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon. See you in the next video.